Hello everyone. This week leading up to English Language Day on April 23rd, Roger and I are talking about tips for learning English. You know, a lot of people ask Eddie and me what the best ways to learn English are, and especially the best ways to learn vocabulary. That's right, Roger. You see, English has a huge vocabulary, and people sometimes struggle to learn new words. So one piece of advice we give English learners is to focus on something called collocations. So what are collocations? They're basically words that commonly fit together. English is full of collocations, and you hear them all the time. If you use these often when you speak English, you'll sound very natural, and your speaking ability will really improve. So let's take a look at some examples of collocations to show you how they work. I'm going to give you a couple of examples, and you'll choose which one you think is correct. Ready? Do you say quick food or fast food? Do you say a quick glance or a fast glance? And the answer is Roger. We say fast food, but not quick food. We say quick glance, but not fast glance. Why is that? Because of collocations. In English, when the meaning of some words is very close, like fast and quick, they only go together with certain words. So, to say it another way, collocations are words that like each other. Thanks, Roger. So yes, focusing on collocations will really improve your vocabulary. There are a lot of collocations with the verbs do, make, and take. You might want to start with some of those. So how can you get started? A great resource to learn more collocations and vocabulary in general is the Facebook page American English at State. Just type in collocations in the search box, and you'll see a lot of resources. That's it for today. We look forward to seeing you again soon, and good luck with learning English vocabulary.